Put some tag again, Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> Let's set up props in the model. If we go back yes, to the settings. Yes, looking forward. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's this, the setting file. This is the settings file you copied into your local drive. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's scroll okay. down just slightly. Yeah. We're going to talk only about one option here, and that's include crops. We're going to set that equal to true. Mm -hmm. We'll keep everything as it is in the standard arrangement. Let's scroll down just here to the Excel settings file. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put in the fraction of each cell that's planted with a certain crop, like wheat or sunflower, for both the irrigated case and the exclusively rain-fed case. And for information about planting date, the, pl the planting date, the length of four different growth stages, as well as the relative water use of the four growth stages, we're going to put that all within the CUM settings file. Would you go into the five minute input folder on, in our case, on the P drive or in anyone else's case, what they've downloaded? This can also be done at 30 arc minute. The resolution is flexible. We're just doing it in the five arc minute case. Because we're doing it at five arc minute, all our crop input maps are also at five arc minute. And if one is doing it at 30 arc minute, it would simply create the fraction of each 30 arc minute cell that's planted with the crop. Can we go into the folder settings? And we can open this up. This is again available in the C1M input five minute folder, as well as now the repository for the C1M Earth 30 arc minute. It can be done again at any resolution. We see this example shows three different crops. It shows there. Oh, again, I think this is the, this is the wrong Excel. Um, I'll correct the Excel for someone coming here next, but let's go to the, this shows a template, but let's go to the full, the file that you prepared for the demo. That I prepared? Mm -hmm. Yes. It is here. This is a crop list of uh, the main crops in the Danube with their planting month. Yeah, so what's important is it's planting month. Then these yes. four columns that say GS1, which stand for growth stage one, growth stage two, growth stage three, growth stage four. And this number represents the length in months of the growth stage. Mm -hmm. KC1 represents the crop coefficient for the first growth stage of that respective crop. The last four columns, KY1 through KY4, we will discuss at a later point, but they discuss being able to represent the relative yields or the relative sensitivities of the different crop stages to um, water deficit. We'll discuss them at another time, so we just want them all to be kept at one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Silva, you prepared maps in the previous video of the distribution or the fraction of each cell was planted with wheat and irrigated. The fraction of each cell was planted with wheat and rain fed, so on and mm -hmm. so on, probably spring, probably winter. You found the planting month for all of those crops. Yes. <laughs> you found the length of the growth stage in months. So the planting month represents, again, the calendar month. So Nine, yes. so five represents May, uh, four represents April. Mm -hmm. GS1 of a one represents the length of growth stage one is one month. Yeah. Yeah. It means that in Tobacco, the planting month is uh, five, so it's May. The first growth stage is in uh, June. In, in and May. Then... It's planted in yeah, May. Sorry. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, um, yeah, also the following ones are one month, one month, one month. Exactly. It means that 
in total it has a growth of four months. Yes. Yeah, so each growth stage in this case is one month and the last total of four months. Mm -hmm. The crop coefficient, the crop coefficient is multiplied with reference evapotranspiration to calculate the potential evapotranspiration. Where did you find these planting months, the length of these growth stages, and these crop coefficients for these different crops? It was not easy sometimes. <laughs> But so a lot of information, it's on uh, uh, the website of um, FAO, which I can open here for showing as, for example, here for tob tobacco, we can find a lot of information on um, uh, all these uh, coefficients and uh, stages of development here the crop coefficient the kc that we're using for all the different stages and uh, here also you can say when it is planted but sometimes not so for some crops which were not available here for example i was uh, um, searching through various <laughs> sources various websites also national website for crops uh, um, planting or um, databases, national databases, when so very sources. When a crop wasn't available on this list, how did you find the crop coefficients? Uh, I think I found them um, either here or... So the crop coefficient, I think it was less difficult than the mm. planting and the, the, the harvest, uh, the planting and the harvest month. So the, the whole uh, um, cultivation period. I think most of the, yeah, most of the coefficients length of crop development stages. Yeah, most coefficients were available here. This is also from FAO. And uh, it is... Yeah, I don't remember how I found it. I think this is... Chapter C, so, 6, we'll, ATC. We'll link to all of these in the video description. Yeah, I think it's better. It was from some publication yes. of uh, FAO. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you go back to the tobacco tab? This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are using four growth stages, and this is also using four growth stages. Yeah, it's this one. The difference here is that the middle growth stage and the last growth stage are changing linearly through time. I mean, we're taking a static growth stage for the a static coefficient for each growth stage. So in our case, we took the initial for the first, the mid for the third. And we took the average of, or the middle point of this linear increase as the coefficient for the second growth stage. And again, the middle for the last one as the crop coefficient for the last growth stage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There are also some publications that talk of three crop coefficients. So in these cases, converting it from three to four um, is done just somehow manipulating the data depending on the length of the relative growth stages. Mm, okay. So it's not an exact process on how to do it because the the practice is either three, four linear increase or static crop coefficient stages. But what we're using in CYN are four static crop coefficients for four specific growth stages of specific lengths. So massaging oh, the data that's available into this format is is necessary. But yeah, also, which is also what FAO does. Yes. Mm -hmm. here and um, here to one, two, three, four coefficients. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've input the data already for these different crops. Now, how we put them in the model, let's go look at the Excel. Okay, could we remove the white space 
between barley spring and barley winter. In the Which... name. Ah, of course. <laughs> So, mm, yes. Okay, now all of these. Ooh, there were two <laughs> spaces, actually. Can we try to copy this whole list of crops from tobacco all the way down to small, or small millet also has a white space we could remove. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, can we try to copy this whole list? We're going to just try to paste it into the settings file that we have. Okay. It can we go down to something called land cover? It can really go anywhere in the settings file, but I think it's nice to put it with a land cover. Yeah, just in this area. Maybe just here, yeah. Push enter, enter, and then let's see what happens if we push paste. Awesome, okay. Now, can you push paste again? So make a second, maybe push, push enter. It's tobacco with that O. I think oh, there's wow. a... Sure. I mean, then, in fact, the name is fine, as long as it's the same as what it is in the Excel file. Uh, changing. Okay, yeah. Just for consistency. Just... <laughs> okay. okay. And could we paste this whole list again below? So we would have this pasted twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a space here too. Okay. Maybe that's yeah, so the upper one as well. Sunflower underscore rain fed. I guess in the Excel file that could also be changed. And we can also update the spelling of tobacco. Yeah, let me update it. Okay, now okay. it should be fine. Let's minimize this. Okay. In the first tobacco, can you put underscore capital I, lowercase rr? And we'll put this at the end of all of the following props. Okay. Which stands for irrigated yeah so this these lines are going to point to the map of the fraction of these crops that is that are irrigated okay mm -hmm. now the next set is almost the same you can type you can push paste again and just in front in lowercase it's going to be n-o-n -N. it'll be in fact not rain fed but non-ear Ah, I, I with a lowercase n. I don't I don't care for the word rain fed because even irrigated crops are partially rain fed. So I find it's it's not an appropriate diversion. But irrigated or division. So irrigated and non irrigated though is a is a proper partitioning. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> So we see here in yours, you have sunflower and sunflower range fed because you found that there were different crop coefficients for yes, the, which which will definitely happen. So we'll we'll deal with that. Slightly exactly. different, but yeah, maybe worth still to definitely account and for. If, mm. And you see that we have barley spring and barley winter. So exactly. Yeah. So if you have different seasons for different crops or different varieties, they just get put in as different lines. Yeah, actually, they have the same coefficients, but they have different, uh, of course, planting months. Yeah. Partly spring, partly, partly winter. Mm. Oh, our meeting will end in 10 minutes. I guess we have to break this video into two. Okay. No, maybe we can make it. We'll see how far we get in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, can you point... Okay, so you created maps already of this tobacco here. Yes. Can you point to all of these? And now, whenever the map... So you're going to point to the map that has the fraction of each cell that's grown with irrigated tobacco. In but, the uh, case, just... yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> in the case that there is no irrigated tobacco, 
you would just put a map where the fraction of each cell is set to zero. So we'll do that mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my maps are all here, here for irrigated in this world for rain fed and here for um, an empty map, zero. So what we need is the T files. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. And they need to point those at the right name, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first. I guess we'll put that everywhere. Yeah. Not a copy pasting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and this will take a bit of time to go through. Yeah, maybe we can accelerate it. <laughs> well, in fact, I think because we can also set up. Okay, maybe just show the first example, the tobacco ear, yeah. and then we'll come back. So you have this tobacco irrigated map, perfect. You link it here, like perfect. This. And show an example now where you have that zero map. Um, maybe tobacco non ear. I tobacco. think it was sorghum and small millet irrigated. There was nothing. So that actually means that I delete this because the file is in this folder and it's just called zero. Yes. Okay, great. Hi, Mikael. Do you finish we... typing in? Yes. <laughs> yes, and maybe there's some things that uh, um, are interesting to, to clarify because we have some <laughs> different instances here. So um, we have, for example, as we said before, two um, type of barley, spring and winter, but they refer to the same uh, um, shape file. Same raster file. Raster file, yes, because it was not uh, differentiated in, um, in MapSpan where I took the the crop data. So we're going to use different crop coefficient for spring and winter, but the raster file is the same. And once we learn more, we could make one 50% and one 50%, or we could keep them both the same. As we learn more yeah. about the Danube, we can adjust this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for now. Then um, there was this that we uh, briefly um, discussed <laughs> offline. So for uh, sunflower also, um, there are two different, uh, there are different coefficient, coefficient values for irrigated and rain fed. So um, both instances are present in the two lists, but then uh, um, like in this case for the irrigated data, the raster for the irrigated sunflower is provided while the rain fed is put as zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, vice versa here, it's provided the rain fed raster and the non-irrigated is treated as zero. The, the sunflower, the just sunflower is called rain fed, and sunflower mm -hmm. that doesn't have anything is the irrigated version. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's why in the non-irrigated list, it is set to zero. And that's why the sunflower rain fed in the irrigated list is set to zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes. And then for sorghum and spawn millet, for the irrigated, we're using the zero because they were zero. Mm -hmm. 
there was data only for the um, rain fed. Yeah, great. Okay, now we just have to update the path to the Excel file. Yes. Okay, and maybe also, um, do you think we should, I should delete this? It's, it's fine. gonna be, it, it will be fine? Yeah. Okay. It can be used and here to it, hold notes. And here is also fine if there are two um, cells have, at the beginning. I have to confirm what we generally use. Let me just look. I mean, I, um, I have also this open already. Yeah, actually it started from C. Yeah, exactly. Then that's perfect. Yeah. Just as it okay. is. Okay. Okay. Let's try. So. Update the buff. Aim. Excel also is fine, right? Yes. yes. So the other one is Excel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could it be also a CSV file or in its right now just an Excel file? Oh, there is a white space. Ah, yes. Okay. Hopefully there are no other white spaces, yeah. <laughs> but in case we will figure it out. Can you okay. Save this. And let's run again. So again, work on Sylvia. And uh, the folder where see what M is. Slash run dash see what them boom py mm -hmm. setting file minus l perfect all correct okay all correct. let's try Mm. Oh, okay. ah, we need a new package There's... now. Okay, yeah. then pip install. The name of the package. Let's hope it's only that. We'll see what other messages come up. Mm. Okay. Try again. Mm. Uh, can we go into the Excel file and see what the sheet is called? Oh, the sheet needed to be called. Yeah, no, it's just called shit. <laughs> okay. Crops needs to okay. be called. Yeah, great.
Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got it. Why? Okay. So it's uh, a moment of suspense. Yes. Oh no, that was close. Mm. Ah, there's this pace. So I think what's happening here is in the settings file, I think there's some secret spaces. Because it, it looking, it's looking in the settings file, the text one, mm. for something called wheat, space, mm -hmm. space, underscore year. But you just have wheat underscore year. So I bet in the settings file, if we look at wheat, there'll be two. Yeah, can we open the settings file, the Excel settings file? Let's just click wheat and then go to the go to the space above. Yeah, okay. So let's delete the white spaces behind the names. So I guess it shows that in this case, white space is actually fine. As long as it's consistent between the Excel. <clears throat> okay, this is a good effort. I would have a thought to <laughs> to check for. Okay. With every message, we're making progress. Yay. Okay, that's it for now. At least the model's running to show how mm. to show the time series of the different crops that are planted. We'll focus on that in the next video. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, thanks for your patience and learning, Sylvia. Oh, it's really I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> okay. <you laughs> thanks too. to you for the patience <laughs> to teach. <laughs> then we're both having fun. Yeah. Let's, uh, okay, till next time, Sylvia. Mm -hmm. See you. See you.